before this video starts um i just wanted to say this so if you guys don't know there is this incident or this sort of of not events but sort of an incident where the green samurai ranger hector david jr from power ranger samurai apparently well not apparently it is shown he pushed an old guy in a walk that had a walker um while hector i believe was parked in a handicapped spot all I'm going to say is this. I don't really talk about this stuff, especially not on my content, because I want my content to be funny, fun, and enjoyable. Um, but um, Hector, whatever you did, I don't know what the point of view was for you. I don't know what went down. I don't know why that happened. So I can't really say anything. But it's not right. I'm not saying it is right, but I'm not, I'm not saying that he might have been wrong. I'm saying that we don't know the point of view. All we know is that he pushed someone with a walker and that is disrespectful and that is what i've seen and that's all i'm going to say about the matter he was it was disrespectful and very very immature that is all i can say i don't know hector's point of view i don't know the old man or who the old person's point of view so that's all i can say on that matter it was just disrespectful that's all i'm gonna say what is up we are back with another super sentai review let's jump into it so this super sentai actually got recommended to me by a commenter on the actual shin kendra video and he did make some pretty good points in them paragraphs i really appreciate comments like that and he recommended me do decker ranger or Abba ranger now i have seen decker ranger fully i do need to watch some Abba ranger more but i have seen decker ranger fully so let's just jump into decker ranger and i'm gonna do what i kind of did with the shin kendra video with the little layers of it character story all of that Right, so the story is like literally the SPD is literally is almost the clone of Decker Ranger. Now I'm not gonna say SPD is the straight up clone like Shin Kenger is with uh, like Samurai is with Shin Kenger, but it's very sub similar. So, um, Decker Ranger, also known as Special Police Decker Ranger, called SPD. They are basically a police force that go against intergalactic criminals and the intergalactic, the intergalactic boss, head boss, I should say, is um, their version of Broodwing. Now, I don't know if I can say his name properly, but he is the main villain and we get our five main heroes. Bun, Hoji, Sechan, Jasmine. I always forget Pink Ranger's name. I always forget her name. Suki, maybe? It's something. It's something. I always forget her name. Every single time. I can say everybody else is but hers. It's something. Something. It's something. It's something. It's something. It's something. What is it? Comey. Kumi? 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 I am. I'm sorry if I'm butchering this. Kumi. Kumi. Uh, yeah, so we got Ban, Hoji, Sechan, Jasmine, and Kumi. Jesus, I'm gonna get roasted. But they are they are the main five. Well, technically the main team. So the first plot, the first character we have to talk about is Bond. Bond is an energetic, very, very high energy, excited character, and especially since he is the leader, he is also the most passionate I have ever seen. He is the most passionate Red Ranger I've ever seen. Like this dude. Literally, first encounter is literally chasing a bad guy, just causing mass destruction, literally just to try and kill him. Like, in the first episode alone, I loved Bon. Bon was an amazing character. Now, Bon wasn't actually a part of the Earth branch of SPD. Bon was a part of a different branch until Doggy Cougar, which is literally his name in the Japanese version, told Bon told the directors at Bond's other station to transfer him to the Earth branch. And this is where he would meet the other Decca Rangers. Now, when Bond arrived, the person who didn't like him the most was Hoji, because Hoji was a by-the-book person. This would lead us into our Hoji um, analysis. So, to sum up Bond, high energy, um, very passionate, and really willing to go all out to protect the world and also his teammates. And a little bit comedic. Now we got Hoji. Hoji is a very serious, by the books type of character. It was kind of shown that he was meant to be a Decca Blue. Because if he was Decca Red, you wouldn't feel that sort of connection that you do with Bond. But Hoji is a very serious, by the books type of ranger. He's always followed the rules his entire life. 
and he always finds a way to take down his villains within the rules. But there are some times where he does break those rules, like when he goes on a but the person that he's going on a date with, her brother is actually a is supposed to the brother actually ending up killing the date's the date's brother. Basically, you could tell that Hoji was hella sad when he did that. And especially when Hoji's friend turned out to be evil as well, you could tell Hoji was tight. And you could tell that he will break the rules for things that he likes, but he would never break the rules for his life. It's kind of hard to explain. Hoji will break the rules when it's someone he knows that he'll have to break the rules for, pretty much. Sometimes it turns into a good thing, but sometimes it turns into a very, very bad thing. So that's Hoji. Now we have... Okay, I found out his name. His name is Agent Abrella. That is the main villain. There's no Grum in this. It's Agent Abrella. Um, but anyway, now let's head into Set Chan. Set Chan is literally the nonchalant guy. That's it. He has a very roundabout way of being a Deca Ranger, but his skills are called upon at certain times. Basically, he can go into a headstand, a handstand, and it will help him think quicker. And it actually helps the Deca Rangers on multiple times. But to sum up Senchan, literally he is the most nonchalant green Super Sentai Ranger you'll ever see. He is the most nonchalant. He just goes with the flow and he has a very good bond with his best friend, I would assume, which is Kumi, which is Deca Pink. Now we head into Jasmine Deca Yellow. Jasmine from uh, Jasmine is the um She's sort of like the calm one. She's not like super, she's not like super angry. She's not like super serious, but she is serious, but also jokey. Like if I'm being honest, she's jokey like the most normal one out of this world. Because Bon is overexcited. Hoji's the serious. Sechan's just nonchalant. And Jasmine is just like, she's pretty much the most calm out of the Deca Ranger team. She is very calm. She doesn't overreact. And when she wants to throw hands, she will throw hands. So that is Jazz. Now we have Pony Deca Pink. She is very, 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 very. She is very, very hyper. Especially when she goes shopping. She loves shopping. She loves spending money. Um, I believe she was rich. But when it comes to her helping people, she is really willing to put herself out there. I and mean, when it comes to a serious time, when she and when she has to go serious, she will go serious. There even is a point in the series of Deca Ranger where her boyfriend turned out to be a criminal and Sachan was gonna was beating his ass. But Kumi decided fuck that, transformed and kicked his butt. Kumi went crazy during that fight scene. There was also a fight scene where she morphed into Deca Pink and socked the hole. Like she really popped her shit, bro. Like Kumi was fire in certain episodes like when they have focused episodes in Deca Ranger you can really feel how they focus on the Deca Ranger and the, the Deca Ranger member and it's amazing so to describe Kumi though she is a very very hyper person she's not like Bond hyper but you could tell she's a little bit of a softie she's definitely a softie within the team but she's like the little sister for the whole team pretty much now we have Deca Break so Deca Break's origin is kind of sad. So basically, right, there was an accident and Deca Break's mom died in the accident. And in fact, the villain, a criminal actually saved Deca Break. Deca Break's name is, I, it's something. Deca Break's name is, um, ah, oh man, I always forget their names, man. Every time. Tekan Aria. Tekan? Teka? Tekan. Um, yeah, but Deca Break origin is kind of sad so basically a criminal helped Deca break stay alive but he but the mom ended up dying and basically the woman thought that the criminal was Deca break's mom um akira how do you say these names bro Takan, you know i had idea Takan aria ara uh, so basically Deca break's mom died and Deca break remembers the villain's face but he can't really remember what happened. And there is a point in the episode in Deca Ranger where this villain actually ends up playing with his emotions. You see, the villain is the same thing from um, Power Rangers SPD. 
But instead of it being Sky, it's Deco Brick, aka the Omega Ranger. So instead of um, the blue Deco Ranger having that connection, he's Deco Brick in that thing. Um, but Deco Brick is definitely. I wouldn't say he's serious, but he's like. He's focused on the job, but not as much as um, Hoji. Um, he is a. He's like a high end version of a Deco Ranger. He's like an elite squad of a Deco Ranger. Um, there even is a point where his commanding officer shows up, who is actually Deca Nova, um, basically um, Omega Ranger's partner from SVD finale, I think. And um, uh, basically, she tells him that he has to come back. But when she sees the bond that he has with the other Deca Rangers, they're like, you know what? You could stay here. And there was that. So that's Deca Break. Deca Break is um, serious. He is high skill. But when you get to know him, he is very soft on the inside and he is very out. Now we have Doggy Kruger. So Doggy Kruger's original name, well, his main name is called the Guard Dog of Hell. And his DECA name is DECA Master. And he is the commanding officer for the Earth branch of the DECA Ranger. He's very serious, but he does have some comedic moments. He has a, he, he and um, Cat are, they're not dating, but they say like, you could tell that they be flirting with each other and they're best friends. Um, but he is a, an amazing fighter. You could tell why he is the leader of the Deco Ranger team and why he's the commanding officer. But you could tell that he also has so much trust within his Deco Ranger team. So Deco Master, very serious, has some good comedic lines as well. But he is willing to like, he is willing to joke around with the Rangers. Like he will play games on the Deco Rangers for them to learn a lesson, which is nice. Um, then we have Cat. Cat is the same thing like in SPD. Um, she is very wise, just like Cat in SPD. Um, but yeah, that Cat and Cat, Cat and Super Sentai, Cat in um, SPD are pretty much the same. Um, but yeah, that is the main team. Um, the things I love about Deco Ranger are the um, fight scenes. If you want some good fight scenes that feel somewhat realistic. Go watch Deco Ranger. I'm gonna be honest. Some of the fight scenes are pretty much cool. Um, the way they're choreographed is also fantastic. So definitely go check out their fight scenes. Um, if you want to see some good like rivalry, look. Uh, go with watch Deco Ranger and just for the um, just watch Bond and Hoji go at it, bro. Because you could tell they have so much. They have different ways of stopping criminals, but when they go at it, it is the funniest, the funniest thing when they go at it. Um, you, like there's parts where Hoji and Bond are literally socking and like punching the shit out of each other just to like get the other one hurt or something just to let rage out and there's times where Bond calls Hoji a partner but Hoji hates that shit and he's like yeah, I'm not your damn partner and it's just funny like I don't want to spoil it but you guys gotta watch the banter between Bond and Hoji it is the funniest thing also for Kamei Deca Ranger for a season not trying to be funny, it has some pretty funny lines. Like the Hoji and Bond banter, when Kumi and Senshan hang out, when Jasmine starts becoming like excited about stuff, like it is the funniest, funniest thing. There's also a movie for Deco Ranger called Deco Ranger vs. Abba Ranger. And Jasmine uses her ability on Abba Red and she starts doing like an Abba Ranger dance. She's like, Abba, Abba, Abba. Like that shit was fucking funny when she did that shit and she's doing it with a serious face and everybody's just with a shocked face like duh like Deca Ranger is such a funny funny season but when it comes to it being serious it does get really serious like I mentioned how Hoji had to snipe his the person he was going out with's brother um when Kumi went crazy after a boyfriend after a person she was dating tricked her um for second episode when Bond was chasing the criminal that killed a kid um, when Jasmine had to tee up in an episode, when Senchan had to tee up in an episode to find a bank robber, like, you can tell that when it turned out to be getting serious, they will get very serious, and I love that. It's, it's incredible how in this season of Sentai, it didn't take itself so seriously, but when it did come time to be serious, it was serious. It wasn't like in Shinkenger, when Shinkenger was low-key just serious all around and had a little bit of comedic moments. This season had a bunch of comedic moments, but it was serious at certain times, especially when the Deca Rangers had to tee up. Um, Deca Master and Deca Break, amazing. Especially, I love Deca Break's backstory in this and his fight against that villain, against that criminal. It was amazing. 
Um, but I would 100 recommend watch Decker Ranger, bro. Especially if you've seen SPD, you would love. I love seeing the parallels between the two. Um, the reason why you can't really see parallels within Shin Kenjir and Samurai is because Shin Kenjir and Samurai are pretty much carbon copies. So I can't even say that. Oh, and um, I think I might I mentioned this earlier, but um, the Hector David Jr. news. Um, listen, I don't really like talking about this type of stuff, especially in a video. Actually, you know what? I'm going to just continue with the review. I'll say it in the beginning of the video. Um, but yeah, I'll explain that later. Um, but yeah, if I would 100% rec 100 recommend Decker Ranger, it is a fun season. The characters are great. The progress for each character developed is really good as well. Like, you could tell that they really developed their characters, especially Hoji and Bon, how they go from hating each other to liking each other, not in the romantic sense, but they start working together. How Kumi becomes not a softie anymore, but starts kicking ass. I mean, when she was soloing the Rhino villain, bro, she was kicking his ass. Like, amazing. The um, Murphy, which is the Rick for Decker Ranger, funny dog, man. That dog was hilarious. Um, but yeah, I would 100% rec recommend Decker Ranger. It is a fantastic, fantastic Sentai. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about Decker Ranger. There's not that much stuff I didn't like. Oh, the season finale fight scenes are amazing. When they go against Aja Ab um, Abreta or whatever, however you say it, bro. It was such a fire fight scene. If you don't want to watch Decker Ranger, just watch the fight scenes. The fight scenes are amazing. And you could tell how much passion the stuntmen and the actors put into them fight scenes. Because those fight scenes were fantastic. Also, Decker Ranger's theme song, peak music, man. Peak music. But yeah, that is my review of Decker Ranger. A very lovable season. Each ranger has their own way of also. They also fight Deca Master on sometimes too, which is amazing. I love to see when rangers go past their orders. But yeah, I would 100% recommend Deca Ranger. It is a fantastic season. I would definitely recommend people watch it. Hope you all enjoyed this video and thank you so much. So.